Today, for the first time since the finals, it's the Seattle Sonics and the Chicago Bulls. This is the NBA on NBC. The game of the week. Today, it's the Chicago Bulls versus the Seattle Sonics. A great deal of anticipation for this first of two regular season meetings between the Bulls and the Sonics. Capacity crowd, better than 17,000, turning out of the key arena in Seattle. Always special when the Bulls come to town. And Chicago at 40 and 5. That is the best record in the NBA. Seattle 32 up, 13 down. They come at number 5 overall. And in the Pacific Division, they are one game behind the Los Angeles Lakers. You know, a few weeks ago, a Nick coach, Jeff Van Gundy, in effect, called Michael Jordan a con man. He reacted with a 51-point game. Well, this week, as you've seen in the pregame, George Carl said Michael Jordan was playing as if he didn't want to get hurt. I asked Michael about that, and he said George Carl is just playing mind games, and he really can't understand why he'd make a statement like that. And the thing that really confuses him is this. Would George Carl say these things if Michael Jordan played for the Sonics? He doesn't think so. I also talked to Sean Kemp, and Sean Kemp said that they are not, they don't fear the Chicago Bulls team. They aren't in awe of the Chicago Bulls team, but what they do is they really respect them because they've won so many championships. But he feels like if they can beat them today, then they can prove that they are a real contender to this Chicago Bulls throne. Mark, we've been talking about Michael Jordan all of a sudden becoming a jump shooter, and this is what George Carl had to say about Michael Jordan. Jordan becoming that jump shooter, like he's trying to protect himself. And when I asked Michael about that, he said, you know what, I keep getting double teamed, triple teamed, I don't find the lanes anymore, so the only obvious thing that I can do is go to my jump shot. He said, it's like in football terminology, and Matt, you hit it right on the head. He said, I'm taking what they give me. You get two points for whatever I shoot from the outside, you get two points for a dunk. Camp again, double teamed, throw it away. Hoffer leads a three on two. Hoffer pitches out to Jordan. Yes. Michael Jordan with his first field goal. And here's Jordan. Well, that is his second field goal. Michael doing it with the jump shot. We talked about that yesterday with, with George Carl. Ahmad touched on that uh, earlier. What a move by Jordan. Well, he took it. Right at Gary Payton, able to spin baseline, and the Bulls now lead 16-11. Jordan putting moves on Kemp, and hits. Michael Jordan picked up on the switch by Sean Kemp, and is extended to an 18-11 Bulls lead. Eight consecutive points by Jordan. Jordan with the turnaround, goes to the spin. So Michael, now five of nine, he has ten points. Five seconds remaining. is in. Bulls now lead 24-15. Four and three ten seconds to go in the first quarter. All right, here's Jordan. Across the midcourt line. time knowing that he wanted to get to just to a spot where he could be able to shoot a jump shot and still get it to the rim and he went up and shot that one with ease from such an amazing distance i think george Carr would have rather seen him drive to the basket than take that jump shot and the absence of rodman has had to make michael jordan and scotty pippen work just that much more as michael jordan works beautifully on that left wing not that they're not capable of it and they lead each game as it comes along michael jordan has been feeling it with that jump shot i'm sure he remembers very well what george carl said about it but this is michael jordan's game he's not going to change it because somebody said something about him in particular somebody from north carolina he's going to play his game george carroll right now not happy with the offensive group that he had out on the floor has brought some scoring punch in along with eric snow who has replaced gary Payton. jeff van gundy the comment a couple of weeks back, actually several weeks ago, that it was revived in the Chicago media right before the Knicks uh, played the Bulls. 
that uh, Michael Jordan tends to befriend players around the, the NBA, and he said he sometimes cons players. Uh, actually, uh, Jeff Van Gundy had said many favorable things concerning Jordan's game, but there were things in there that uh, Jordan used to motivate himself. Jordan said Jeff Van Gundy was looking to motivate the Knicks because uh, of some friendships that have gone back uh, over the years, and he felt that it had affected uh, the Knicks and how they play against Jordan. Michael Jordan with 17 points. He is just eating up the Sonics in his first half. The Bulls now lead by 13. Yes. Michael Jordan lighting up the Sonics here in the first half. He now has 22. Jordan going door to take the lead pass from Pippen. Well, this is what the Bulls were prepared for with all the fronting of the post by Gary Payton. If they could swing the ball up top and then lob it up to the basket, they would get good shot opportunities. And even though that wasn't a good pass, Michael Jordan made him. Shot clock at six. Jordan to the drive. Well, we have seen a number of drives today by Michael Jordan, although for the most part, he's, he's done it with the outside touch. He has 26 points in all. And Longley able to catch the Sonics on a switch. You saw Pete upset with his teammates. And the Seattle Sonics with some technical difficulties in the first half have turned things around here in the second. Michael Jordan with his first field goal of the third quarter, only a second shot attempt. He now has 28, and the Bulls lead 62, 58, three and a half to go in the third. Here is Jordan. Yes. You know, Byron, it was almost like Phil Jackson at halftime and said, yeah, Michael had a great first half, but we can't stand around and watch him score half our points. And for eight minutes of the third quarter, trying to get other people involved, didn't really go very well. So now Michael is starting to pick it up again. Jordan off the dribble. Yes. Well, Michael Jordan heating it up once again, as you mentioned, after the Bulls try to get other people involved, and the Bulls now lead 66 to 58. 32 points for Jordan. Jordan putting behind the back and uh, lost possession, able to recover and find Kevin. <laughs> Jumped in the air, faked the pass, able to hang long enough to find Jason Cappy for the layup. Jordan eluding and hit it. So that is 34 for Jordan. 15 of 23 from the field. 10 point Chicago lead. <laughs> Michael and Craig Elo. Look at Michael's eyes. Looking at him. As they're both having a little, uh, a little chuckle right now, as Michael may have said something after he made that jump shot to Craig Elo, as if to say, Craig, I remember you. Cleveland, right? 69 yes. <laughs> points. Foul was, was called uh, on Jordan. A little taunt. Jordan, wide. Yes. 36 for Jordan. The season high, 51. Michael Jordan heating it up, and uh, then a look, a glance over at George Carl on the Sonics bench. A little two-man game. They call that the pinch post out of the triangle. A little handoff, and Michael knew that was going as soon as he left his hand, and the little glance to George Carl. Through the foul. Michael has gone to the line only four times, three of four at the foul line, and 40 points uh, representing the most points scored against Seattle by an individual this season. Here's Kerr for three. Well, Steve Kerr with his second from downtown. Steve Kerr, one of the outstanding three-point shooters of all time. Now, Jordan, 25 feet, posting up. Jordan with 42 points. And George Carl calls for time. 6.07 remaining in the fourth. Here he is on the post, and Seattle, who normally loves to double team inside, has been unable to find Michael Jordan in those post plays to double team him enough to get rid of the ball. And when you score that many points, 
all over the place for Michael, but most of them in the on the post-up area at about 17 feet on either side, able to take the jumper over the smaller Peyton or spin to the basket for the drive. Jordan. Yes. 45 for Jordan. And the Bulls lead 88-70. Well, Hersey Hawkins said that on talent, we're about even with the Bulls. They are just mentally tougher than we are. And they also do not have Michael Jordan. The Chicago Bulls do. As Michael really putting on an unbelievable offensive performance. And the Bulls have defeated the Sonics in their first regular season meeting by the count of 91 to 82. Chicago goes to 41 and 5. That their record a year ago. Same record as last season. Seven straight wins, 16 of the last 17 in the win column for the Bulls, who were led by Michael Jordan, who had another extraordinary ball game. All right, Michael. Now, the statements by George Carl saying that you're playing, trying not to be hurt, was that motivation for you today? Well, I mean, every time I step on the court, I got a sense of motivation. Playing the Sonics, it, you know, they, we, we faced them in the finals, you know, and they, they gave us a good run for our money. We know they're going to be contenders this year. You know, I, I think Carl, what he's saying is, you know, more or less trying to get me to go to the hole. I'm going to shoot my jump shot. Defense will give me the jump shot. I'm going to take it. If they want to let, let me go to the hole, open up the lane. I go to the hole, but they're not giving me the lanes to go to the hole, and I'm going to play my game. I'm not really going to let coaches dictate how I play the game. Now, you told me that this was one of the most important games on this West Coast swing. Why was this one so important. Well, I mean, we're coming in playing against a team that's, you know, pretty much the best team in the, in the West right now at this stage. I mean, no one else has beat them. They're the Western Conference champions, so they are the Western Conference cha champions until someone beat them. We were without Dennis, so it, it was a measuring stick for us to come in and compete hard and give ourselves a barometer in terms of when we get Dennis back, we're a better basketball club. We, we feel a little bit more confident. We win a game on their court. That gives us even more confident. I, I think that's just, it, it was a great win for us today. All right, congratulations on a great game. I'll see you at the All-Star game. All right. All right, back to you, Marv. 